candidates, but only one will be governor. And the looming question, who will it be next to lead Hawaii? Good evening. I'm Yenji Denise in for Paula Akana tonight. All four were together today for the first time. KITV Force Brenton Owa was there, and he joins us now live. Brenton. Yenji, the four candidates tried to distance themselves from each other in a forum at UH West Oahu. Now, like you said, this marks the first time that all of them have gotten together for this type of event. Today's questions range from creating jobs to education, even same sex marriage. One of these men on stage will be the next to govern Hawaii, each trying to rise above the rest. From left to right, Duke Iona, the Republican, Jeff Davis, the Libertarian, the Independent, Mufi Hanneman, or the Democrat and current Senator David Ige. The candidates each had their shot to stand out today on issues including the risk over overdevelopment in Kaka'ako. We need to stop developing housing uh, that are sold uh, to uh, rich foreign investors and really focus on the needs of our communities first. We need affordable housing. Our children with their diplomas will be getting a one-way ticket. Say goodbye to your family. We have to set the groundwork right now, and so it does come down to balance. And obviously, you know, we all need to work together. So I intend to do that and make sure that that's a priority when we talk about any type of development. I believe it's time to have a discussion with state officials to revert Kaka'ako back to the city for proper planning purposes. Hanneman went on to say that the redevelopment agency HCDA should put effort into building a racetrack in Kalailoa since Oahu doesn't have one. Aside from overdevelopment, the only other question asked by the audience was how they would have handled the contentious same-sex marriage battle that ended up making it legal in Hawaii. Something that personally I believe we should all take one step forward and give up a little bit of our positions on that. I did support Senate Bill 1. I do believe that it provides uh, for equal uh, balance of the issues that um, were before us. Were I governor? I would not have called the special session. I would have allowed the people to opine on this very important issue. If I was asked whether or not I, I making it a priority in regards to uh, being governor and, and I'm going to come in and propose legislation that will overturn that law that was just passed, the answer is no. Now, when asked about job creation, David Ige said he'd do that by supporting our tourism industry. Duke Iona said he'd support small businesses. Mufi Hanneman said he'd do a combination of both. And Libertarian Jeff Davis pointed out a much larger problem, what he calls a much larger problem, that needs to be addressed first. We'll have more on where these candidates stand, including on the topic of education, coming up at 6. Back to you.